Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Found 4 as we are playing as the Soviet Union. So today's episode is probably going to be a little bit shorter because I don't have as much time to record today. Uh, but I do expect that it will be a last episode of Peace with the Germans. Probably won't get a full year here, uh, but uh, they might attack us early. Uh, so they could attack this episode. I, I think that it's more likely going to be sometime in the beginning or middle of the next video. But since this episode is going to be a bit shorter, let's go and hop on into it. The first thing we need to do is I completely forgot about uh, the Trotsky mission over here. I'm pretty positive that we're at, yeah, we're definitely over 50%, we're at 99% here. So we probably could have done it a little while ago. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, so there are two different missions that we can do here. You can either raid Trotsky's villa which is the quicker route, it's 60 days. However, even if we put this guy here, it's still considered deadly. Uh, so I believe that's a, a low chance of, of being successful, or at the very least, uh, there's a chance that he might end up dying. Doing it this way, raiding his villa would be the quickest route, but is also the most risky of the routes. We could instead do a subtle assassination, which we do it now, I believe we should have it done before the war starts, and in that case, we didn't need 50%. Uh, we only needed 25%, so we could have done it much sooner. And we have a much better chance to get it done now. As you can see, it's a very good chance here. It is going to take a very long time, though, 270 days. I think this is the route we're going to go. Uh, I don't want to, you know, do the 60-day route, and then, you know, you also have to send some equipment and stuff. I think it's not very much. Yeah, it's not very much equipment. I don't want to waste the equipment and potentially fail and then have to do this one anyways and maybe end up losing our really good operative here who would be best at doing these missions. So go ahead and put him in place, uh, have him commence when ready, which I think it should be immediate here. So that'll be in progress and it's going to be done in 270 days. So we're just going to slow this down a bit because you may have noticed that I've made some changes here with our armies and up along the front. So we're going to get all of our divisions moved in their locations. This will allow us for the first time to see how our supply situation looks, which it does look like it's pretty bad. Uh, but we, we needed to know where it was bad so we knew where to improve here. So basically, as soon as they all get over there, we'll start making those improvements. And I'll show you guys what the current setup here is. So this will let us know exactly where we need to improve and how we need to improve it. Do we need more supply hubs, uh, which supply hubs you know provide the supply to the area, or do we need greater railroads? I've had a few people in the comments saying that the railroads don't really have much to do with the, the actual supply that's available. And, and that necessarily isn't uh, the way it works. Supply hubs are the ones that you know send the supplies to your troops. And so those are key. Uh, but the maximum amount of supply that they can provide is based off of the railroads. How high are the railroads that go all the way to the capital? And so if you have level two railroads, and that gives you 20 supply maximum, uh, the ones that are only connected by one uh, level one railroads have 15 supply maximum. And you'll notice that up to this point, we haven't really had issues with not having enough supply in the supply hubs. There's only been problems like getting up to the front, which we've typically been fixing by, uh, you know, increasing the motorization level. That's typically the way that we've been fixing that problem, which I think is the best way to fix it is increase the motorization rather than building more supply hubs if you can avoid it just because supply hubs are, are so expensive. Uh, so you don't want to build a, a ton of them because they take so long to do. Only in areas where you really, really need them, which again, I looked at this last episode and there are a few areas where we could use supply hubs, like here, because uh, you notice that there's quite a bit of space here. Uh, so maybe having a supply hub here might be useful. Uh, sometimes having you know several supply hubs in an area uh, would be useful if you got a lot of troops there. Here, we actually do have a lot of supply hubs that can supply there, uh, quite a few in this area, and yet we're still having supply issues. And uh, a large part of that is because our railroads are too low a level. Uh, so I've been trying to slowly improve the railroads so that we didn't have to do it all here right before the war, so that we can get these up to a higher maximum level, because I knew the moment we put all the offensive armies on the front, we would start hitting up towards the cap. Here we're doing better than I thought. I don't think they have all their divisions there. Yeah, there's still some divisions moving around here. Uh, so, and, and same thing here. Uh, but yeah, I do think we're gonna we're, we're gonna hit the cap or, or very close to the cap here as well. So we need to get the the level of railroads improved here, so this supply hub can provide more supply for the troops that are located there. 
and we need to get it essentially up to level three all the way back to the capital. Now, the easy way to do that, of course, is to just go into the supply hub and then click on upgrade railroads. Uh, but the problem with this is that this is the, the route it's currently using, so it, it's telling you you're gonna be using, you're gonna be upgrading that route, but it's not the route you want to upgrade. You might wanna look at it yourself and make sure that that is in fact the route you want to upgrade before you do it. Now you can, of course, just do it, you know, manually and upgrade, or I guess we do it through here, uh, upgrade each level of these railroads. But honestly, I think the route that they're going with the automatic system there, I think is the route that I would upgrade. Yeah, it looks like the best way to go uh, so that you're improving not only the supply to here, but also improving the supply to this area, uh, just in case they do end up hitting the cap there. So I think that is probably the best way to go. And so we're gonna go ahead and just use the, the button here. And then we're gonna go ahead and tick those all up to the top as well. Uh, well, maybe not to the very top. Just below the railroads that we're already currently working on here. And we'll do the military factories a bit later. So that's good for the, the supply network. So you can see they're improving it all the way across here. Uh, so that's good for the railroads, I mean. Now for the supply hubs. This is looking for areas we might need another supply hub. Yeah, I'm not really seeing here, I suppose, might warrant another supply hub. And, and obviously down here, I think I mentioned that before, that they're having some supply issues there as well. But other than that, I feel like the supply hub situation is pretty good. I mean, I looked at this a little bit last episode. But yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, you know, that this is not really the problem here. It's not a lack of hubs. It's uh, the railroad being too, too low a level. I think we're pretty much good. I'm not gonna build these again. They're so expensive. You don't wanna build them if you don't have to. Uh, so yeah, we're not gonna build any supply hubs. As of right now, if you see a hole here that I'm missing, then let me do know down in the comments below so we can try and get that fixed. If, if there's a location that you think would be a good one for a supply hub. Uh, but let's go ahead and get all the uh, locations here, providing motorized supply. We're gonna want a lot of it. We're just gonna go all the way up on all these because we're gonna need it in all these locations, most likely. All up along the front, I mean. I don't know if we'll need it there, probably not. If we do, we can always switch over to it. So this is gonna require a lot of trucks. Luckily, we have a lot of trucks. So hopefully, this will be enough as far as uh, supply hubs goes. And, and we'll wait to see if anything needs to be done down here. As of right now, it looks like the supply is good. It's just down in this area. All right, so. This is what our current uh, fronts are going to look like. So we have the defensive armies all set up here, which I'm gonna move them so that they make more sense. Let's put these guys here so that they are, they're in order from uh, north to south. Uh, so purple army there, yellow army here, green army here. Uh, I got all the commanders set up. So this is gonna be who's leading all of these armies here. I got him a, a gorilla fighter, uh, gorilla fighter trade as well for that entrenchment speed. I think it would help up here. I don't usually get Gorilla Fighter, but in this case, with these defensive armies, I think it'd be useful. So this is going to be commanding the Purple Army, Yellow Army, and the Green Army down here on the Bulgarian front. So now to look at the offensive armies. We have uh, Zukov's army here. He's in two separate locations. A couple divisions up here. Part of that's just to try and help the supply situ situation here. In fact, because it is so bad, I think we're going to take one more division and put them up here. Uh, but also to help push them off a of memo so that we'll have the river here to defend against. Uh, the idea here would, would not be to advance across the river. Instead, you know, again, just get them up to that point so we can defend there with the river bonus. And then the rest of his army is going to be pushing up to grab the supply hubs. So get this one along the way and then go all the way to Danzig. Now they'll be getting supply here from the port and from the supply hub. So we'll have to get that next. Uh, but the point is that these guys wouldn't be able to retreat. And so that any divisions that are up along here, German divisions, would be completely cut off, and then we can destroy those. And we'll also get that important city, uh, important port here in Danzig. So that's what his army is going to be doing. Uh, down here we have another offensive army. And you know what? We should make sure anybody who needs a train is training. And we do have army experience, so might want to make some adjustments to our division designs as well. Yeah, let's go get all these guys training while I'm thinking about it. Anybody needs to anyway. All right, it's just those two armies. 
So we're to get the uh, anti-tanks. Let's go and get the anti-air next. It's going to be 85 days to knock that out. And we will have to upgrade our line of anti-tanks. All right, excellent. So let's go and take a look at our division designs and see what adjustments we might want to make. Uh, so I, I really want to get the bloody sickles finished up, uh, which they're not finished just yet. And I think what we're going to do is throw another artillery in here. I'm really trying to step up their attack as much as possible, which that's going to help out quite a bit, and that breakthrough as well. So we're going to step up their attack with one more artillery for a total of five artillery. And then what we're going to want to do here is probably have an odd number. Yeah, like five so that it fits in evenly there. Yeah, I think that'll work out nicely. So let's go ahead and throw in, I guess we want these next to each other. I don't know if we're going to have enough experience for this. Might have just enough. Uh, we actually still have five more experience. Excellent. So this is how it's going to look. It's going to have three anti-tanks and two anti-air, uh, giving us a, a decent heart attack. Uh, we'll be able to at least attack the, the tanks. Piercing, that'll be good enough for the light tanks, maybe even the medium tanks, depending on how they're designed. Uh, but is not going to help against heavy tanks, but I don't think the Germans have those yet. Uh, we won't be able to get any more support companies just yet. We'll have to roll with this. And actually, let's go ahead and add one more infantry since we have the experience. As far as how large they're going to be, I'm thinking maybe just 40 combat width, actually. Uh, could go all the way up to 42, which is the best for, like, forest. And there's one more that it's good for. Jungles. Jungles and forest, I think, would be 42. Uh, and then flat ground is about 45 is where you want to be at. Uh, but for cities, it's, it's I think, 32. Uh, so we're not going to be able to, we're not going to do that, obviously. Uh, but what 40 would allow us to get to is hills. Uh, 40 is the best uh, for hills. And so I think we're going to stay at 40 and just leave the design as is. I think this looks pretty solid, in fact. Yeah, I like this. Organization is not quite as high as I'd like, but we do have some focuses that will improve that. And it's going to get even lower when I start adding these here. Uh, but the key here is having very good attack, and uh, or for an infantry anyways, uh, good soft attack to support those those tanks that are pushing forward, because this is an offensive division design for us. Uh, so let's go and save this. That means uh, a lot of adjustments going to be need to made to uh, the ones that we're currently building, as well as to all the divisions that we have out there right now. So we we'll have to make sure that anybody who has the bloody sickles is training once they get their manpower. Manpower is getting lower. I think we should be okay for a little while longer. We might want to build some more troops though. Like maybe build like another five of these. Yeah, we'll get those started there. And we also have these guys training up. They're just about done. Uh, so let me just make sure that... Okay, they haven't gotten their their stuff yet, so we'll just have to wait. Now let's continue looking at the offensives. Uh, so here we've got, I'm never going to get through this. This is why I got it on speed three so that we can look through it. Things keep on popping up. Uh, but you get the steel casting industry, uh, some factory output bonuses, two more civilian factories, and some steel. We do need more civilian factories, guys. I'm not happy with the, the number that we have just yet. So the last thing we're going to get here in this tree, which is the one that we have to finish up uh, before the, the war starts, is the optimized production lines. Uh, particularly for, I mean, the research bonuses are nice, uh, but particularly for the production efficiency growth and base. I think that'd be really helpful for our our uh, production lines. So we're going to knock that out, and then we'll be done with that branch of the focus tree. And the Italian-Bulgarian military technology exchange event just popped up here. So, this army here, largely just tanks. I might throw some other units in here, though. And their job is primarily to uh, try and cut off German divisions here. Uh, this is the weak point on, on our front. Uh, like, so here we've got, you know, all these troops, obviously. Uh, so I think we'll be all right up here. Uh, but then, up along here, you got a river. So that'll help protect, uh, you know, these divisions aren't great. That's one thing to keep in mind, is that these division designs... Are not, are not great. Uh, they're very manpower heavy, uh, but very, very low attack. Defense is good, uh, but our attack is horrible. So they're not going to be able to do a lot of damage to any divisions that attack them. Uh, they'll just be able to hold out, hopefully, uh, for a while, especially with the river bonuses. Here, those are the weak point. Uh, you know, you got mountains all up along here. Uh, you got a mountain right there as well. But here, it's just flat terrain, no river bonus, no forts, no nothing. Uh, we could build forts, and that might be helpful in this particular location. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do instead is launch an offensive. And remember, this is all just the plan. You know, no plan survives contact with the enemy. 
Uh, so this is just the plan. It doesn't mean it's going to end up going down this way. Uh, so let's go ahead and take all these guys we just trained, put them into this army, get them training, and then we'll go ahead and take out these other ones, which, as far as where they're going, could put another division down here. I think we will put one more division down here. Uh, and then also, if the Italians attack the Greeks, which they probably will be doing soon, uh, then we'll need to have divisions here and here for when they take those islands over. Uh, so we'll need more divisions down there, I think. And I almost want to go ahead and send them now with that in mind. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. We're actually going to go ahead and throw four total divisions into this area. So two over to here and then uh, two over to here. I'm not sure why when I, I select these guys, they're going off the railroads. That's strange. So we'll have them uh, go over to those locations to protect against the Italians, which I assume will be there uh, by the time, uh, you know, by, by the time uh, the Germans declare war. Uh, I do expect the, the Greeks would already be conquered or, or be close to being conquered. Uh, so the rest of the divisions that we have here, we're probably going to want to put in onto the uh, Green Army and this army here, uh, both of which don't really have very many divisions protecting the front. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get a few more. Uh, we're going to want, we'll just do three and three, I think. Yeah, we'll just do three and three. So then these three guys will go over. Good God. See what happens, I let go of the shift. <laughs> I let go of the shift right where I click on the last one. All right, so they'll start moving over there. Let's go ahead and finish talking about these these offensives so we can get back on speed five here. Uh, so then we have an additional army here. And I, I don't know if I showed you guys the, the commander here for this army. Uh, we got Constantine in charge over here. And we'll likely give him a few infantry divisions to help out. And again, the plan here is to cut off German divisions and try and destroy them. Uh, but hopefully, if it's really successful, we'll get up to the river in a more defensible position. Uh, but again, I don't really think that this is going to end up working out quite the way I want it to. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, and then over here, we've got an army that is solely mountain troops as of right now. And their job will be twofold. They'll have two jobs. Uh, so the first one is they've got three mountain troops here, two mountain troops here that are supposed to attack here and here. And then one of them would get over to here and cut off any troops that are in these hills and mountains so we can get those guys destroyed and decrease the front by quite a few provinces. Just make it easier to defend. Uh, so their job will be to take uh, those three provinces and then the rest of this you know, orangish brownish army here, uh, which is a total of five divisions out of right as of right now, will be to push up and take Budapest in order to uh, one, take the railroad station that's there and two, try and force the Hungarians out of the war. Uh, I think will be helpful even if we get pushed back there. Uh, just getting them to capitulate and, and all their divisions being removed from the game will be helpful. All right, so I think we're done here and here for now anyways. We need to get the planes. We still got to get that aircraft designer. I think what we want to work on next is uh, Field Hospital 2s or probably these. Yeah, let's get the improved infantry equipment. We have research bonuses here, so we better get them quicker. It's 83 days. Let's knock that out. Uh, so yeah, that'll be the job of this army here, and then Timoshenko and his blue army here. Which, yeah, we're going to have to train everybody up, which this will get us experience, so it's helpful. But yeah, we'll need to train anybody who has those one division designs in them. Uh, but yeah, Timoshenko's army, his job will be to push this way. Although, you know what, I think we're going to send a couple divisions over here as well. Yeah, I think we'll put a couple down there. Maybe, let's go with uh, four. Four divisions right here to push this way. And so they'll slowly move over there. All right, excellent. Uh, as far as our fleets go, I did move some down here, but you know, I don't think that's gonna be enough because I do want them to cover uh, this area here. So we should probably send a few more submarines down there. Right, so let's go ahead and get them moving over there now. Let's take them from this one here. And these ones will likely be a lot of level ones, maybe a couple of level twos. Yeah, maybe we'll give them a couple more level twos, like three more. That's what I'm thinking. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, oops, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. We'll bring eight more ships over there. Uh, so let's get them stop training. And they all do have to repair, so they'll repair over here. 
And let's put them into this fleet. There we go. Uh, because, yeah, I don't think 12 is going to be quite enough. Because it's not just covering the Black Sea. That's all I was thinking about. But they do need to cover the Mediterranean as well. So we can go ahead and move up to speed 5 now. So we try and make some progress here. I did want to explain uh, the situation here and what the plans are. Uh, we did get that mechanized. Excellent. Uh, so I suppose we'll go after this one next. Get any more defense and breakthrough is always helpful, which is percentage modifiers. So those are really big. Uh, especially, you know, the infantry are going to get huge bonuses for defense. Well, the bloody sickles are done, but we didn't give them a, a deploy point. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that. Do we want to get any more of these guys? How are we doing on equipment? What are we lacking here? We're lacking anti tanks. Okay, so we'll just do these ones for right now. And let's go ahead and make sure they get into this training army. All right, excellent. So they'll train up here. And we also got the improved medium takes. Excellent. I don't know that we have the experience to actually do anything with them just yet. Because I believe we'll have to completely design uh, a whole new one. Because they don't save the way that the, the ships do. Which is unfortunate. Could go after the heavy tanks next. I think we're going to wait. Yeah, I think we're going to wait to get the heavy tanks, guys. We still have to design the new medium tanks. And then their self-propelled artillery version. And... Then we'll have to improve the light tanks eventually as well. That's not as big of a priority though. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll wait to get the, the heavy tanks, guys. And also there's some research bonuses for those as well. That'll be quite helpful. We haven't gotten the aircraft designer just yet. We're about to get it though. Okay, so what we'll do is uh, just wait to get that. We have several things that we can get until then. Uh, the field hospitals would be one and the other one would be artillery. We'll get the artillery first. Seven more for a little power. We're going to get the aircraft designer. And uh, that'll allow us to start researching. Probably the new fighters first is what I'm thinking. Uh, we got our new uh, railroad gun over here. So they'll provide any bonuses in the combat around here. You cannot stack railway guns. Uh, you can only have w the bonus from one of them. So there's no reason to, to like stack those here and have a bunch of them. Uh, you should spread them out uh, along your front. Uh, let's go and get the aircraft designer, and I think we're going to do what we typically do and get the light aircraft, uh, improving the fighter's agility and speed. That's pretty helpful, especially against a uh, an Air Force that is likely going to have more planes than we do. I'm surprised that there aren't more Germans up along the front. I'm not entirely sure where they're, they're massing right now. They do have some medium tanks here. Uh, our troops will not do well against medium tanks, these uh, you know defensive troops are going to do horribly against medium tanks. We did finish up the railroad here, and it has not fixed the supply situation just yet. I mean, no longer capped out over here. Uh, over here is good as well. And we did hit the 20. I thought we would once all the divisions get got there. All right, so what we need to do is, I guess, just look at the the motorized. Is there anything we can do here? We have, we have a couple more supply locations, supply hubs, but I don't think that's going to provide the supply where we need it. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just like a, a small issue there. I wonder if these guys would reach if we... No, they would not. How about them? No, they can't reach either. All right, so I think that's the most we can do. It's just a matter of having too many divisions in this location. I think that's the problem. We just have far too many divisions here. So I think I'm going to change it up. Maybe take another one of the Red Army troops and put them over here. God, I feel like we need all the divisions we have here. But maybe just take a couple of his troops just because, again, supply is such an issue here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just take a couple of his divisions and put them elsewhere on one of the other fronts where we could definitely use them. Uh, there's no reason not to, to get them over here, I think, on this blue front. Or on this blue front, in fact. Yeah, we should put it over here so he'll have a few more divisions. I know it's mostly a tank army here. Uh, but having like two more divisions could make a, a big difference. And since supply is such a problem over there, just getting a few divisions out might improve the situation. It improved it for one province, but not for the other. What if I took one of these? I'm just going to make it bad in both of them? I guess we'll find out. Uh, so we did get the radar. Excellent. Uh, we need to get those put onto the ships. And then we also need to put the new radios onto our tanks, though I don't think there's any point on doing that since we're going to be, you know, completely changing up the design of the tanks. We'll take a look and see how much we can get done there. Uh, let's start with the, the ships real quick. And also, what did we get here? Oh, mechanized. My bad. 
we need to start building this. We uh, researched it and didn't didn't build it. So we're gonna want probably quite a few factories going to to mechanized. Uh, we'll take a, a few out of the inventory for right now to put into the mechanized equipment. I do want a huge stockpile of infantry equipment, though. I think we're going to need it. I, I do expect high casualties with these uh, cruddy defensive divisions, so they're going to lose a lot of infantry equipment because of that. All right, so I think that looks good uh, for right now, just five, and then any ones we build we will go to that. And then we need to start with the ships here. Oops. We'll go ahead and get the destroyers improved, get them the new radios. And we have the same uh, 1936 destroyers here that we're, we're utilizing. Uh, we want to do the radios here. And that'll get us up to radar, excuse me, radars. That'll get us up to level three, improving a variety of stats here. And I think that's it. That's all we have for them. Uh, so let's go and save that. And, oh, you know what? Oh, I guess we were building these. Okay, it's fine. I was about to say we could just improve the D's, but we are building the D's. Uh, so let's go and put them here, and then get, then go into Leningrad. Uh, the torpedo destroyers, they're already building both of these, so we will have to, to do a whole new one. Although, do we have, yeah, we do have radar on these. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to go ahead and improve them as well. It's not like naval experience is an issue for us. All right, so that looks good. Um, again, I don't think there's any more improvements because yeah, we don't have the anti-air just yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. And then we'll just put them under here. And then we want to make sure that we're only building one of all of these guys. We're almost done with that destroyer. Uh, I'll be done with these ones soon. Let's go and pull back on the submarines a bit as well. All right, so that looks good. Uh, so we haven't got anything researched here. Let me just do that real quick, and then we'll we'll do the tank designs. I think there's one more. Oh, we got the uh, aircraft designer. I was going to say there's one more uh, tech that we can get before we got the aircraft. But yeah, we, if we got the designer, we want to go ahead and start working on that now. We'll do the fighters first. It's going to be 142 days to get those knocked out. And let's go ahead and take a look at our tank designer. Uh, so here's the improved medium tank. As you can see, it does not work the way the ships do, where they'll have most of the modules that you have in you know one of your, your ship designs that are of that type. Uh, it, it typically just takes that design and then copies it onto this one. They didn't do that for the tanks, and so it requires you to start from the beginning, which is kind of unfortunate uh, because, yeah, it takes a lot of experience to do this, and experience has so many uses. So this will likely be pretty expensive for us to improve upon. I don't know that we'll be able to get it done, in fact. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look and see. I mean, good God, yeah, you got to change so much. Hmm... I almost think that it might be better for us to instead get the T-34 focus. I mean, it'd save a lot of experience uh, because it gives you a, uh, a variant, the T-34s, and thus you save all the experience that you would spend. But yeah, there's so many things we have to get focus-wise. Maybe that's not the best way to go. We'll take a look at it, guys and see exactly how much this is going to cost, but I think it's going to be really, really expensive uh, to try and get this done. And yeah, because just putting it, you know, the suspension, there's six. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and stay with the... What do they currently have? Oh, they have riveted armor. Um, so we want the welded armor. So you even have to change that. Good God. Yeah, this gets uh, really expensive. And then if we wanted to go to the diesel engine for the reliability, and then go over to... We do have flamethrowers available. That's not what we want, of course. Uh, but then go to the medium cannon ones, which is all we have as of right now. And then you got to change over to the three-man turret as well. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be incredibly expensive, uh, getting all these. We haven't even started with the engines and armors and, and, and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, we might actually have to... Uh, yeah, we might actually have to, to do it the, uh, the other way. These are only one experience. But yeah, we're sitting at 16, and so we, we can't even do this right now. We'll just have to wait until either we uh, get more experience or get that focus, which would give us the T-34 variant. And that would save us a good chunk of experience. I think maybe like 30-something experience would be my guess is what it's saving. Again, I don't know that that's worth 
a focus, a 70-day focus at that when we need so many things. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get that, guys. Uh, but we are done over here, which is excellent. Uh, so I did want to address the focus tree. There's been a lot of questions uh, about you know what we should go for, why we aren't getting this or that. So I just wanted to address it quickly. So this one here, uh, apparently this will allow you to get a 1% bonus. It's only 35 days, by the way, but it'll allow you to get a 1% bonus uh, to your research speed for each of your puppets. So it's very helpful if you have a lot of puppets, which we do not. Apparently it does a few other things as well. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what those are, uh, but I don't think we're gonna do it because we don't have very many puppets. However, we eventually do want to go for it because that'll allow you to get the transformation of nature which is a pretty fantastic modifier here. Uh, you require less consumer good factories, you get 5% stability, and then you can have 10% more max factories in a state. So that one's pretty powerful overall. So do, we do wanna get these eventually. I don't think that should be our priority just because there's so many other really good things that we need. Uh, the Air Force, we do wanna improve that, but again, just can't be the priority uh, as the fleet's definitely not gonna be what we go for next. Uh, some really good stuff here. In fact, this one here, we're almost ready to take. So what this works is that for every state beyond the Ural Mountains or in the Far East uh, that has at least three military factories, you'll get one military factory in that state for a total, a maximum total of 10 military factories. So a pretty powerful focus if you've been building in those areas, which we have been. I've been trying to build as much as I can in those areas. And so we're at the point now where we will get seven of them. And I feel like we can get the rest, so we'll wait to do that. But eventually we will want to do that because it's 10 military factories. It's really helpful. Uh, these ones are a lot of fortifications, which will be nice once we're at war, but not something we want to do just yet. Then we have the military focuses, which we really need to go to uh, go through uh, before we go to war with the Germans. At least get a couple of them uh, because there's some really great bonuses over here with the organization, uh, division recovery rate, reinforce rate, just a whole bunch of good stuff here, guys. Uh, less winter attrition would be helpful. Uh, terrain penalty reduction. I mean, just great stuff here. And also helps get rid of some of the penalties that our army faces. Uh, so we definitely want to go down this branch and get at least a few focuses before the war starts. Uh, that's not where we're going just yet. Uh, over here, I don't think we'll do any of these ones anytime soon. Yeah, we just don't. Yeah, there's too many other good things to get. So I've had a lot of people asking why we're not going after these ones, why we're not working on the diplomatic focuses. I just don't think that out of all the things we can get, that these are the most helpful things to get. I could see going for the secure Leningrad, but what are you really getting? You're getting one state, you know, if they give it to you. One state in which I might have like, what, a couple factories? It doesn't have any resources. You're not really gonna get much use of the manpower or anything else there. So yeah, I just, I don't know exactly what you're really getting from there that makes it worth it more, you know, worth more than the other things that we're getting. It's not that I don't wanna do it. It's just that it's a seven day focus and I just don't think that it's worth, uh, you know, all the other stuff we could be getting. That's the way you have to look at it. It's not, do we want that? Of course we want it. But is it better than the other stuff we can get? I don't think so. Now the one that we're actually gonna go down is this one right here because there's some great bonuses here. It's only gonna take 35 days as well. It's gonna give us some little power too, uh, but it's gonna unlock some decisions here that we wanna get. And we do wanna get this focus, uh, you know, sooner rather than later. It's a pretty good focus to have. And we haven't even started using the propaganda system at all. And so, yeah, I'd like to, to get access to that. And it's gonna be 35 days here, so we'll knock that one out. And, and it's a good branch of the focus tree. We started working on it last episode. We got the address and the eternal affairs. There's some good stuff here. Uh, so I wanna go down this and this. That's what we're working on right now, guys. That's gonna be where our focus is uh, that we get for the war, uh, where they're gonna be at. I think that's that's really the direction to go. Uh, we're so close to the war now, that, that's the way we need to be thinking, is what do we need for the war against the Germans? Not so much do we need to go attack Finland right now? Or you know, do we need to go at, attack Central Asia you know, Afghanistan or uh, go attack Iran or something. I don't really think that that's the, the best way for us to go when we know we're, we're facing an incredibly challenging fight against the, the Germans. Uh, we're gonna go and get the close air support guys and we do need to upgrade the anti-air here. 
All right, so uh, again, do need to make more improvements to the division designs, but we should probably get the medium tanks designed first. There's just so many things requiring our uh, army experience. I mean, we haven't even started on the, ar the army doctrines. I mean, we got the first one uh, for the route we're going, but that's about it. Still some supply issues in both of these locations, unfortunately. And we're already on maximum for the motorized. It's just we're putting too many troops in the area, I think. Now here I could see getting one supply hub, but again, if you, you take this area, then you don't really need the, the supply hub, I don't think, because this one would provide plenty of supply. So I'm under the expectation that we're going to win here, uh, but I guess we'll just have to see. You know, we can plan whatever we want, doesn't mean it's going to end up working out. All right, so we got those military factories done. Uh, so I, I want to go ahead and, and try and complete the number that we need to be able to get the... Uh, What's it called? Like the Tankograd? I mean, it might be mispronouncing that. Uh, but in order to get that. And so we can build two more there. Let me just see where we're at. How many we have available now we got those other factories built. But again, I think these this large amount of factories is going to be helpful. We're at eight now. We were at seven. Now we're at eight. And I don't think we're building anywhere that's going to get us those last two. So here's one potential location that would get it for you and then there's also this one an 80 percent bonus and you already have one military factory there and you have room for two more so that would be the two locations then so we only have to build two in each of those so we're going to go ahead and do that and as you can see we still don't have enough civilian factories so i think we should work on getting a couple more civilian factories too the reason why we have so few is because of the large number of factories we have to have for the consumer goods. And you can just see that we're, we're getting all kinds of penalties for that. And like the uh, five year plan, for instance, is hitting us. Yeah, we're, we're definitely requiring quite a few factories. Uh, so that's causing some issues. We'll get more. And thus we should be able to have over three lines. Uh, but for right now, we'll just do two more civilian factories, I think. Uh, we did knock out this here and thus I believe we are done with these focuses for now uh, we do have the special forces that we haven't gotten yet so might want to do that uh, could focus exclusively on the planes here to get the naval bombers I don't think that's the best way to go though uh, considering the fact that I still want to get the field hospital twos so I think that's what we're gonna get next is the, the field hospital twos let me just make sure there's nothing else more important for us I think that's that's the one we want. Uh, so let's go to the field hospital twos. We will want to save up on manpower. I know manpower is not the key here for the Soviets, but as you can see, we're actually much lower than, than I'd like to be at. Uh, are any of these guys done training? We actually do have several of them done training. So let's go and start putting them onto the front. Because uh, again, these are going to help us figure out how supply is looking once we have you know, the full armies over here. Uh, so we're going to need more over here. As you see, we don't even have enough to cover, you know, to have one division in each front so i think we should put a few more maybe one two three four five maybe five more half of them yeah i think we're gonna do you know what? we'll get them to to 20 total divisions this army because we also need some up along here and they do have several provinces that only have one division in them so we'll probably put like a whole five over here yeah let's put five over here and that means that these armies are almost all filled out just about we only have these two defensive ones that aren't and we have one division left and i think we're going to throw these guys over here because i'm worried about the the italians coming across here yeah i think it'd be a problem so let's go and throw them into you know actually this is probably this is probably fine i guess two can can hold on to it yeah, they'll be fine. So let's just throw these guys over here. We'll try and get the Yellow Army up to the full 24 divisions if we can. Just make sure all of our troops are trained up. Yeah, they do look good to go. Uh, we did get that focus. It was only a 35-day focus, so it's a pretty easy one to get. Also granted us some political power, and we got that research done at the same time. Excellent. Uh, so we just got to remember it's improved infantry equipment. So the next one that we should probably get is the Positive Heroism. Uh, this one's really good. Uh, it's going to give us, uh, you know, a really good military high command. 
I almost think we might end up waiting. I was gonna to get one as soon as we hit a hundred. Yeah, I don't know. We'll take a look and see what we have available for the military high command. Uh, so with the last research or with the uh, free research slot here, still pretty solidly in 1940. Might want to go ahead and start working on those heavy tanks so that we'll have them, even if we're not able to to design them immediately. There's not really anything else that we have to get at this point. So I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, let's go after the, the heavy tanks so we'll have them. Obviously, have to get two separate techs here before we get the uh, the ones that are most modern for us at this time. So point on building outdated ones. Uh, so before we take a look at these decisions, I did want to see what we had from the military high command. Because yeah, if we waited for him, remember he's the one that gives us that high division attack. Incredibly helpful. He's also a genius, so you're going to get the most army experience from him. Uh, the other option, I mean, there's really not any really good options over here. Because we've already gotten Alexander. I mean, some of these are are, are fine. Uh, it's not that they're they're bad. But yeah, what we really need is army experience. I'm not happy with the army experience. This is going to cost 200 for little power. All right, so we'll have to save up for that. But these decisions are likely to, likely going to consume some of our. Yeah, they're definitely going to consume some of our little power. They only cost 15. Uh, so we have four separate options that are available here. The other ones require that we're at war. Or, about ready to surrender, different things, different requirements. Some of them are specifically requiring us to be at war with a major. So we'll just take a look at the four that are available to us right now. Uh, so this one here will result in us getting some of our civilian factories back, not requiring as much for consumer goods, and that's for six months. And every time it gets more expensive when you do it. Uh, this one here will allow us to get more resources in any state that's producing any of those those uh, four resources. And that's for six months. Uh, this one here allows us to get more oil and also reduces the fuel consumption of our army and air force. And then this one here will result in less supply consumption and we'll be able to construct supply hubs and railways faster. Oh wow, that'd be super helpful to have. I wish I had had that when I was constructing railroads. Now, I don't know, I, I mean, I imagine we will continue to construct railroads. Yeah, we'll probably have to continue to construct railroad, uh, railroads throughout here. Uh, because the one problem with this one here is all they have to do is take that province there, and then the entire rail network uh, going up to this key area is shut down. Or you take this one here, anywhere up along this front. You know, you just take that province. It doesn't matter. And so we do need a rail network that goes through here. And thus being able to build those faster would be helpful. Uh, but the civilian factories would be helpful no matter what. So I think we're going to do that one. Remember, it's only 15 for little power. Uh, it does get more expensive, so the next one would be 30, right? Multiplied by 2, so yeah, it'd be 30. So we're going to get that one now while it's cheap. And then you also get these really cool uh, little, like, propaganda uh, posters here and I believe if I if I remember from the developer diary correctly that these like slowly as you you know move through here and get closer to ending and there we go Italy just declared war on Greece but it, as they get closer to ending here I think they start looking older and stuff we'll have to take a look at that because I, I believe that's what they said in the developer diary it's been a long time since I read that uh, we do have supply issues over here by the way okay I thought we would, because again, I feel like a supply hub is needed in this particular location. Yeah, I think a supply hub would be really helpful having that here, but let's see if we can't fix it without building anything for right now, because I don't think we're actually providing this supply here. I'm going to turn this down just a notch, because actually, you know what? Let's go and do it now. I'm going to send volunteers to Greece, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and help them. If there's anywhere to, to help, I feel like this is a good location. So how many can we send them? We can send three total. So let's go and set up uh, or set aside three units. I guess we'll take the, the mountain troops. I think that's the best way to go, honestly, since it's Greece. I, I don't know if they have much flat terrain here. There's a little bit where you could probably throw a tank. I think you're just best off sending mountain troops over here, though. 
Yeah, we're gonna send them three mountain trips. I don't think we have any other mountain trips anywhere else. I think this is all the mountain trips we have available. So let's gonna take these three and uh, send them over to Greece. And I'll just kind of arrange, rearrange them if necessary. And just give them, a, again, we'll give them a heart. And we need to give them a commander. Not sure who will give them just yet. Maybe train up Vasily here? Yeah, let's go and train up Vasily. We'll see if he has anything to get here. He has the skirmisher for the primate attacks, the paratroopers, and the camouflage expert. I don't think any of those are something we're going to get right now. So we'll send these three volunteers off to the Greeks. If they accept them, I assume they will. Let's see where they're at. Here we go. Uh, yeah, they'll accept them. And those will get there. I guess we'll have to wait until they accept them. And they did join the Allies, as expected. And those will get them the 3rd of November. Actually took a little bit longer than I expected. Alright, well, hopefully they'll get there soon. I mean, I do anticipate that the, uh, the Italians will get them conquered and take this, and that's why we have all those divisions already set up over there. Alright. So just looking at the, uh, uh, the other decisions that we can do here, that we might want to do next. Oh, you have to have an empty slot to do them. So you can only do one at a time until you get more slots, which I think these here, which I haven't gotten that far down these uh, when I when I did a little test through, play through here. But some of these, I believe, do unlock additional slots. Uh, looks like this one does. I don't know if this one does. This one does as well. So we'll get one more slot once we knock out this focus here. 64 days left. I'm going to turn it up a little bit, the speed, until we get to November. And then we'll start using our volunteers here. And and they are pushing forward against the Bulgarians. That would actually work out well for us if they defeated the Bulgarians. But I don't think the Greeks are going to last very long, honestly. Because I think the Germans are going to start pumping divisions down here. And the German Reich is currently justifying a war goal against us. So it looks like the war with the Germans is actually going to start earlier. That's what I was afraid of, guys. I was worried about that. And again, that's why I didn't want to get involved in places like Finland, uh, you know, attacking them. Or I had somebody tell me to attack uh, the Chinese United Front here, which I don't know why we would do that. Why would we attack China? <laughs> like, they're, they're fighting the Japanese. This is what we want to do. In fact, it looks like they're defeating the Japanese. You know, we'll take a look at the world next episode because I do actually have to end this one here, unfortunately. Because, again, I just didn't have as much time. And we've also been playing kind of slower here, so we didn't get as much done, unfortunately. Uh, but we're going to be helping out the, the Greeks next episode. So let me see what we want to get here before we end. And maybe we'll wait until our volunteers get there and that's when we'll end the episode. Still need the naval bombers. I suppose we'd want to get those now before we got went for like a 1941 tech. That wouldn't make any sense. I don't think there's anything le left to get here. And of course there's always stuff we can get. I uh, could do the special forces for instance. And maybe we will do that rather than go for the naval bombers. Yeah, we'll go for this one here. Look at the special forces. Uh, that one's not that great. It helps. Uh, but yeah, it's not the uh, not the better one out of all those those focuses. Uh, but yeah, we'll go and make sure that we get our volunteers over here. And yeah, it looks like the Germans will declare war on us a bit earlier. Uh, you can see that they're already putting divisions up along the front here. Yep. They're starting to pile their divisions over here. So we won't likely be able to help the Greeks for very long before the Germans attack us. All right, so yeah, we'll have an earlier war against the Germans than you often do. And I don't know what the hell our, our ships are doing. Again, it's just kind of a weird situation where they, they just move all over the place. I'm not entirely sure why they do that uh just kind of odd overall again I, I think they just move all over the place to repair uh maybe i should go and take them off of the yeah you know what we should probably just stop training them now since we're we're gonna be going to war here soon so let's go and take all of them off the training so they can get repaired up because that takes time obviously and then make sure these guys are over here excellent and then just take these two and and put them into their their fleet so they just won't get trained up which is fine all right, so we we'll also want to get all our planes set up and all that kind of stuff uh, because, yeah, it does look like we're going to be going to war with the Germans next episode. Yeah, it'll be next episode. Now, I did want to get the volunteers over there, and that'll be on the 3rd of November. So we'll let them get get over here in Greece. So I'm going to help out for a little while before 
we get attacked and then all of our divisions will be recalled. At least we can help the Greeks hold out for a little bit longer. So here's our three mountain troops. Uh, it does suck because then we won't have them up along this frontier where they would have been pretty helpful to have. Uh, so what were we going to do with these guys? Probably not help out against the Bulgarians uh, because we'll be able to attack them from behind here in a, in a very short amount of time. I think we should instead come up over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take these guys. And, and we're mainly going to be focusing on defense here. Because you can see that they are going to start pushing them back very soon. In fact, you know what? Let's... I think this is going to take too long to move through here, so let's just go on the railroads up to here, and then we'll we'll deploy them once they get the organization back up. Uh, we do have some troops that are ready to, to train up over here. Uh, we also have one guy that is currently done, uh, so let's get him put onto maybe the yellow front. Yeah, we'll put him up on the yellow front here. And have the Italians attacked these locations? They haven't. Okay. So it's going to take them some time to do so. So that will just kind of help the, the Greeks out while we have time before the Germans attack us. Uh, not a long time, I think. Uh, it popped up about a week or two ago. So I think we got like two months. Looks like they'll attack us in the beginning of 1941, which is a strange time for them to attack the Soviet Union. It's the middle of the winter. So maybe they won't attack immediately. Just because they get the focus doesn't mean they'll use it, though the AI often does. That also, also means that we might have trouble with our own offensive, though, if we want to push forward at all. Yeah, they might have snow on the ground. Could be more difficult for us to push forward because of that. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, looks like it'll be starting very, very soon, guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.